Last night, after votes were called and after most of my colleagues had left the House chamber, Representative Matt Gates filed a motion to vacate the chair, a parliamentary procedure that is used to remove the Speaker of the House. It is a serious privilege resolution that has been rarely used. The motion to vacate the chair puts the House in complete disarray, and as history shows, it disintegrates any progress the majority governing body has made thus far. Importantly, it risks putting the gavel in the hands of Democrat Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries. This motion to vacate the chair will derail our appropriations bill's processes. Thus far, House Republicans have passed appropriation bills covering over 70 percent of discretionary spending and $2 trillion in spending cuts. We passed legislation to give the largest pay raise to service members in two decades, clawed back billions from the Biden administration's woke agenda, passed the strongest border security, H.R. 1, to secure our border, stop fentanyl and human trafficking, and also energy legislation, H.R. 2, to lower food and fuel costs for average Americans. We passed the Parents' Bill of Rights and No Boys in Girls Sports, and we ended the pause in repayment of college loans, put people back to work if receiving social benefits. We worked to avoid a government shutdown, which would have harmed countless Americans. But all this progress is derailed with a motion to vacate the Speaker. It erodes our ability to pass appropriation bills, hold committee hearings, investigate the Biden family corruption, issue subpoenas, and work to secure the border and reduce crime. And most importantly, a motion to vacate essentially hands the gavel over to Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries. No wonder Ma Representative Matt Gates is considered Biden's favorite Republican. Today, I am proud to stand with Speaker McCarthy. He has proven to be dedicated and determined in putting America and its people first. He is the right speaker at the right time. And I would hate to see so much good work reversed. Therefore, I urge all of my colleagues to stop these stalling tactics and get back to the business of working for the American people.